Hello everyone, my name is Philip Edu. I'm going to show you how to create notes based on your research question. So um, what we're going to do is that after you have uploaded all your information into um, in vivo um, in terms of the transcript that you have, what do you do next? Um, first, you have to think about your research question. The reason why you have to think about your research question is that at the end of the day, you have to address your research question. So the analysis should be driven by your research question. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to create nodes um, um, or containers for each of the research questions that you have, right? So how do you do that? Um, so first, you need to assign labels to your research question. Right, we call it anchor code. So based on your research question, um, you assign a label to the, those questions that you have. So as you can see here, how has student access to NK services led to their progress with their dissertation work? Right. So if in case this is a research question that you want to address, what meaning or label do you want to give to that? So you have to create a label for each of the research question that you have. So if you have three research questions, you have to create a label for them, right? Just a label to represent a research question. That we, I call it anchor code, right? You code it uh, based on the meaning of the research question that you have. And also you have to decide concerning the interview questions that you ask participants, which of them are related to a specific research question. So let's say you have 20 interview questions, right? So um, and let's say question 8, 9, 18, and 19 um, are related to maybe this research question. So this means that at the end of the day, participant responses to these questions interview questions will help you to address this research question. So as I said, first you have to label your research questions. Second, you have to match the interview questions to the, their respective research questions. So you ask yourself which of the interview questions are related to the research question that you uh, want to address and then you can look into the response. So the essence of you doing that is to help you with when you are you have the, you, the transcript you know where to go to let's say you want to develop notes to address this research question you just go to research question uh, interview question 8 and then see participant responses you go to interview question 9 you see participant response and then code them right label them, identify significant information, and then you label them, right? So that's the essence of you doing this. Then after that, you go back to in vivo, um, making sure that you have already uploaded all your um, interview transcript. So you, you can see here that all the interview transcripts have been, um, have been uploaded, right? Participant A1 to participant A6. So now what you're going to do is going to create content. Before you start a coding process, you create containers for each of the research questions. The reason why you have to do that is to help you in the organization of the themes or the nodes that you're going to create, right, um, under each of the research questions that you have. So you click on nodes and then you right click on the nodes and then you click on new folder and you can name it notes for the research questions right and you can give a description um, you can leave it alone if you want so you click on OK and then you have the information here you can see the folder has been created you click on that folder then you can see the name of the folder will come here so this is a space where you can create nodes uh, for each of the research questions. You are going to create a huge containers for the research question so that you can start the coding process where you can code uh, significant information and drop them under each of the research questions. Am I making sense? I hope so. Okay, so you right click this page and you click new node and then it gives you the name. So let's say you're, uh, you know, we talk about the anchor code, right? So 
as you can see here the research question this research question the label is progress student progress impact so you just copy and paste that and then in parentheses you can say um, anchor code for research question one you see and then you can copy and paste the first the research question there just for reference uh, so that people will know that okay um, this label is for this research question right so that's how you can have it here and then you can click on aggregate the reason why you should actually check aggregates too so let's say you create nodes under this research question the frequencies the number of statement or significant information that has been dropped in that node will all aggregate and be um, be will be indicated with respect to each of the research questions i i think if you are confused don't worry uh, as we do i will show you how it to find but you have to check this place and you click on OK. So you can see here that you have created uh, a node or a code for the research question, a container that you're going to um, drop the nodes under, right? So you do the same thing for if you have three research questions, you're going to do the same thing three times. Um, if you uh, in this case, uh, for this, I have two research questions. I think that let me see the second research question might be here. So this will be the um, the anchor code. Um, so I just, I have it here. So I'm just copying and pasting it here. So this one is for the research question two anchor code. Or you can just say. Uh, to, in order to you know to be consistent, I say anchor code, and this one it doesn't have a spell check. So when you type it wrong, um, it will not signal you. So you have to make sure that what you type here is right. Um, it's rightly spread. Any information you have uh, provided here, you just have to check the spelling yourself so and you can see that uh, this is a second research question and you check aggregate and you click on OK so you can see here that you have uh, under the notes folder you have two research question notes for research question one and two notes for research question two right and you know if you want to change your mind concerning the label of the research question you can right click and go to property and then you can make an adjustment to the label if you want um, so uh, you can make changes to the label and then you click on OK yeah so you can see here that we have two research questions and then this is what before you start a coding process you have to create these ones so that um, the organization will be very easy for you so this means that you identify so you go through the transcript when you identify significant information you you create a node and then bring it under the their respective research question you see that so that's why you have to create um, a, a huge container that will connect or that will uh, hold all the nodes that are related to the research question okay so i think this is what i have for now um i'll do a next video to, and talk about how to start a coding process thank you